Welcome back to this week's edition of Ask a Marian. I'm not a Marian of the Immaculate Conception, uh, but I am a Marian priest. My name is Father Randall Kiesel, and I'm a diocesan priest from the Archdiocese of St. Paul Minne and Minneapolis, and I love our Blessed Mother. And today's question goes right to the heart of the love of our Blessed Mother. And Father Chris Alar, my friend, has asked me to fill in for him to answer a great question. We have the question from Allie from Missouri who asks, I have heard that if someone dies wearing the brown scapular, they automatically go to heaven. Is that true? I have also heard someone say that the Carmelite order doesn't endorse the brown scapular anymore. Is that true? I am confused. Allie, that is a great question. Well, the answer to our question can go back to the founding of the order of Mount Carmel. And the founding of the order goes back to the late 12th century when on Mount Carmel in Palestine, hermits were attracted to follow our Blessed Mother into a life of contemplation. They became known by their official name of Brothers of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Mount Carmel. And following in the footsteps of the Virgin Mary, they developed a thoroughly Marian spirituality with highlights of practicing contemplation of God, understanding the spiritual life as the way of perfection, journeying in the interior life with the Virgin Mary in resemblance and practice of her virtues, and a reference in personal relationship with Mary to Jesus, and having Mary as mother patroness, but also sister and guide in that interior life. Having this total Marian spirituality was wrought through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and it is no coincidence that Carmel, which means garden or vineyard of God, it's correlating to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the spiritual garden and vineyard of God in the heart of Mary. And so Our Lady then gave a special grace to the Carmelite Order, reflecting the truth of her Immaculate Heart at the heart of the Carmelite Order by giving the brown scapular. The brown scapular was given in an apparition to St. Simon Stock, who was serving in Cambridge, England. This took place on July 16th in the year 1251. In this apparition, the Virgin Mary appeared to him holding the brown scapular and said to him, Receive, my beloved son, this scapular of thy order. It is the special sign of my favor, which I have obtained for thee and for thy children of Mount Carmel. She promised that whoever dies clothed with this scapular shall be preserved from eternal fire. It is the badge of salvation, a shield in time of danger, and a pledge of special peace and protection. A scapular reflects what the monks were already wearing. It was only made a bit smaller over time so that it could be commonly worn by people throughout the Catholic Church. A scapular is actually a sleeveless outer garment of a monk's habit that falls from the shoulders. The original significance implied that one was clothed with Mary's garment in the sense of being clothed with her attitudes and with devotion to Jesus Christ. The small piece of cloth used today recalls the intention of being clothed in the garment of salvation, that is, sanctifying grace. The scapular was to be a signal grace of Mary's protection. Mary promised that whoever died would not suffer eternal punishment. However, if they should need purification in purgatory, she would intercede and aid them in being released quickly from that experience of purgatory. According to some scholars, it has become one of the most widely practiced Marian devotions. The scapular can be worn by anyone. One does not have to be Catholic to wear the scapular. However, if you are Catholic and wearing the scapular, it is important that you are enrolled by a priest or a deacon. You only need to be enrolled once in your life to receive the full benefit of the devotion of wearing the brown scapular. The wearing of the scapular is meant to foster true devotion to the Virgin Mary. This devotion is founded in Mary's spiritual maternity and mediation in grace. The scapular teaches confidence in the intercession of our Blessed Mother to obtain for its wearer the grace of perseverance unto death. Our Lady did attach two conditions to the graces of perseverance that she offers through the brown scapular. First, one must honor our Blessed Mother by wearing the scapular until death. And during life, one honors Mary through veneration, through confidence and love of Jesus through Mary. And the second is that one must fulfill the baptismal promises of leading a faithful Christian life. You must remember, however, the brown scapular is not a good luck charm. One must choose to lead a life of seeking God and conformity to his will through repentance from sin and the amendment of life. And so should you wear the brown scapular and place your confidence in Our Lady of Mount Carmel? Yes. 
St. John Paul II had a great devotion to the Our Lady of Mount Carmel and the Brown Scapular. In fact, back almost 40 years ago, when there was an assassination attempt on his life, he was wearing the Brown Scapular, and one of the witnesses, just before he went into surgery, said that he had stated, do not take off my scapular, and the surgeons left it on through the surgery. John Paul II credited the miraculous preservation of his life to the protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And now I want to share with you a few miracles of the brown scapular because they are beautiful. Another beautiful miracle concerns an elderly soldier who, in a moment of great sorrow and despair, decided to take his own life by poisoning. He, very soon after taking the poison, began to suffer severe effects. While reconsidering his decision, he suddenly heard a voice telling him to go to the Catholic priest nearby and confess his decision. The man went to the designated church and asked the priest to hear his confession. The priest thus entered the confessional and the penitent confessed that he had just poisoned himself. The priest explained to him his obligation before God, which included divulging the penitent secret. The man touched by this grace gave the priest permission. The charitable priest pulled him out of the confessional and took him to the hospital. At the hospital, the priest immediately asked for the antidote needed for the save the life of the man. But while they're preparing it, the pulse of the man became very weak. The priest pierced with sadness in his heart, but full of confidence in the divine mercy, threw himself on his knees and began to recite the litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. A short time later, he heard the man speak a few words, O oh, my good father, my father, pray and pray some more. And he let out a breath and said, Holy Mary, pray for me. And soon his consciousness returned, and the priest, in his enthusiasm for what he just witnessed, asked the man if he did not have some sort of pious practices. And the man who was recovering his strength said, No, Father, I have not said any prayers in a long time. But after having reflected for a moment lo longer, he showed the priest his scapular. Here is the only sign of piety I have preserved, he stated. And the priest said, My friend, I am not surprised by the miracle which just occurred. It is Mary who protected you, and it is to her that you owe being alive. Our Lady truly loves us and wants to bring us to heaven. And it is the brown scapular, the rosary, and heartfelt devotion to her immaculate heart that leads us straight to Jesus. Thank you, Allie, for your question, and I encourage all to wear the brown scapular. Stay tuned for next week's Ask a Marian.